So hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So this time using Excel, we're going to find out the central tendency and measure of variation. Especially this video, we focus on finding central tendency value. Okay, so central tendency means mean, median, and mode. Okay, so mean means average value. Okay, so median is the middle value. Mode means any data appear most frequent. So those three different data we are finding. All right then. So mean another uh, word is average value. So when you using the Excel, then even though you click mean like this, then nothing show up here. So you better high average. So average click that. They highlight all this data. Then there will be a uh, mean for this data set here. Okay, median is so equal to time median. Median, and click, and highlight everything, and enter, and that's the median. Mode is uh, equal to M-O-D-E. So this time, you will see um, mode as a multi-mode here, or single mode, or general mode here. So I'm going to ask you to choose the first one, because sometimes uh, we have more than one mode, right? And it is useful to do it. So you highlight everything and enter that. So this time, this data set only have one mode. So even though we use the multi-mode mode, uh, mode format here, it only gives you one, one value. Okay. Now, so look at the second uh, example here. So we still want to find out uh, three different um, standard tendency value which is R, mean, and median, and mode. So mean means average, right? So uh, click average, average value, and highlight them, enter, and there will be mean for this data, median, so equal to median, highlight them, enter, then there will be our median, and mode, so, so I, I told you, you better choose a multi, so this one, and then, then, okay, so now here, so this time, we have two modes, right, which means uh, 35 and 22, they are equally appear, so equally uh, appear, it's the same amount, that's the reason, we have two different modes here, okay, yeah. so that's the way you are finding center tendency. So I hope this video helps you how to find the center tendency. And next video, we will talk about the measure of variation. All right? thank you. And then, uh, see you again. Bye.